So it has been a while since I've done a versus video and I've been trying both of these products out for a long time now just for different aches and pains and lotion and things like that. So I thought, you know, between a huge discrepancy in size and price, I thought I should do a versus of the two. So uh, this is my versus of the Kanuka CBD lotion to the Lord Jones uh, High CBD Body Lotion. And uh, the Lord Jones has been around at Sephora for maybe about a year now. And uh, the Kanuka brand is something, and now it's at Ulta for probably the last four or five months, I want to say. So I've definitely had a long time to try these both out. Uh, I have a lot of aches and pains, like in my hands, my neck. So I've been using these, and people write reviews saying that their pain is gone. They don't have to take ibuprofen. It's amazing. So I thought I definitely had to address some of these because some of the reviews online make it look like, like it's like the next big thing. So, which I guess CBD is the next, it is the big thing now, but... Anyway, so I definitely had to do a review and kind of address some of these rumors, and I thought I'd compare the two because the Kanuka is double the size and half the price right there. So, is the Lord Jones worth paying double? Actually, if you consider the size, would that be like four times? So if, like, this is double, but it's half the size, that would make it quadrupled. Whatever. Anyway, it's more expensive, so... I'm not a mathematician, so anyway. And I kind of wonder if some of this goes into some of the, um, kind of if you expect something, it'll happen. Anyway, the placebo effect, you know, somebody says this will work on this, and it does. Is it in your head? I don't know. Some of it's kind of interesting. I'll have to do more on it. Use my psychology background. So anyway, so on the uh, verses, my first criteria is packaging, and both of these use pretty similar packaging pump bottle very effective keeps the good stuff inside and out from contact from air and also very easy to use so both of them got a tie for that my second criteria was alcohol and uh, neither of these contain denatured alcohol so that is also a very good thing uh, my third criteria is fragrance and the Kanuka has a very, 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 very light scent, which is from grapefruit extract. Uh, the Lord Jones comes in two versions. They have their signature scent, which I have not tried that one, or they have their fragrance free. See, fragrance free. Uh, so I picked their fragrance free version. I really like they get, that they gave you an option if you wanted it scented or non-scented. So for me, I gave this point to Lord Jones since they give you a choice and the Kanuka the scent is not bad enough or I wouldn't use it or not recommend it for sensitive skin, but I just prefer fragrance free whenever possible. And I like the fact that the Lord Jones gave you a choice on that. Uh, my fourth criteria normally would be acne ingredients. However, since these aren't really meant to be used so much on the face, they're more meant to be used as body lotions. I made the fourth criteria this time CBD content or ingredients. So both of these bottles contain 100 milligrams of CBD, which is not THC. So that's an important note. So it's not psychoactive. You won't get uh, high on it. Is that what they say for marijuana? People get high. They get stoned. So you won't get stoned from it. Uh, CBD more so absorbs through the skin and just has some natural anti-inflammatory properties as well as some healing and um, pain therapeutic things. So both of these bottles contain 100 milligrams of it. However, the Kanuka bottle is twice the size. So actually for each pump, you're getting less of the CBD, which is what you're kind of paying for. Otherwise, you'd go buy a $9 body lotion that contains just plain hemp seed oil. Uh, the CBD is really, really what you're paying for. So uh, with the Lord Jones, each pump dispenses 2 milligrams of CBD. And with the Kanuka being double the size, that means it would be one milligram. So for the bang for the buck, you're getting going with the Lord Jones uh, for my fourth criteria. So the Lord Jones has two points and the Kanuka has zero for right now. Let's see. My fourth criteria is beneficial ingredients. So other than the CBD, does it include some good hydrating ingredients for your body? And let's start with the Kanuka. This contains uh, beeswax. Uh, lexithin, aloe, vitamin E, grapeseed oil, rosehip oil, uh, hemp seed oil, uh, manuka honey, and then hyaluronic acid. So it's got a lot of good hydrating ingredients. So if you're going to use it on your hands and things, uh, it certainly will keep your hands well hydrated. 
Uh, so and I like seeing a little bit of honey and things. It's very good. Uh, the Lord Jones, in terms of other beneficial ingredients, it's got shea butter, uh, hemp seed oil, uh, and then just some other synthetic emollients and hydrating ingredients. So in terms of other beneficial ingredients, especially if you can use it in super dry areas of the body, like your hands, uh, the Kanuka wins uh, that category, in my opinion. It's got a lot of good other beneficial ingredients. So uh, Kanuka gets its first point, Lord Jones 2, Kanuka 1. Let's see. So ease of use. They're both super easy to use. Like if you have arthritis, I know a lot of people with arthritis in their hands will use a little bit. Uh, so very easy to use. A little bit absorbs pretty quickly. Doesn't leave a greasy feeling at all. And uh, almost a bit of a cooling sensation. And a lot of people with arthritis swear by this stuff. So I get arthritis occasionally, but not really bad. So, so very easy to use. The Lord Jones, a uh, little bit goes a long way. It applies easily, dries to a nice non-greasy finish. Uh, Kanuka as well. A uh, little bit more hydrating, but very easy to use. A little bit goes a long way. It's got a more of a, uh, not a matte finish, but... It's a little bit more hydrating, so if you have drier skin, you can see the difference of my two hands. The one I put the Lord Jones on uh, looks pretty hydrated, but the one where I put the uh, Kanuka looks just a little bit more plump and hydrated. But for your hands, it's usually not a huge issue. So uh, in terms of ease of use, they're both very easy to use. They hydrate. They both have a very nice non-greasy finish, perfect for hands, arms, or any other area of soreness. So I gave them a tie for that. They're pretty much pretty similar for that uh, performance so for me and my aches and pains usually it's my neck or back I've tried both of these for those areas I have found for some reason though that the Kanuka just helps my back and neck a little bit more than the Lord Jones and I'm not exactly certain what ingredient is in there that's doing that uh, but for me I just found the Kanuka just works a little bit better it seems to absorb a little bit quicker and uh, it just seemed to help those areas a little bit more I'm not sure why if you read reviews online people will say a pump of it it was a miracle it made every pain go away it doesn't really do that but it does seem to help my neck a little bit just relax a little bit more I'm not totally sold on the whole CBD pain relieving thing it's definitely good marketing and things like that but there are some people that will take it uh orally without the THC active and it has helped some uh, diseases and things that they have so uh, obviously you're not eating this but I gotta assume a little bit of it gets absorbed through the blood so maybe that's what helps a little bit or it's all the placebo effect uh, it could be anything but if uh, you don't have a huge wallet and you have pain I don't know if this is the way I go unless somebody else has recommended it I don't know anyway overall though for the performance I just found that the canoe worked a little bit better but both of them seems to have helped hands in terms of a little bit of pain here and there so the canoe just worked a little bit better so anyway let's see so I gave the canoe at that point so they've each got two now animal testing uh, the canoe is cruelty free however due to their use of beeswax and honey, they are not vegan, although it's a little ironic because honey and harvesting bees and things is good for them, but it's not vegan. The Lord Jones is cruelty-free, and they are vegan as well. So I just gave it a tie because they're both cruelty-free. And I'm not judging them on if they're vegan or not, but if you're a vegan, the Lord Jones is vegan. So the price. So the Kanuka is 3.4 ounces and sells for $28.00. The Lord Jones is 1.7 ounces, and it retails for $60, although if you can get it on sale at Sephora or on their website, definitely do that. So overall, the price, definitely the Kanuka is significantly cheaper for double the amount. Half the price, double the amount. So I gave the edge to Kanuka, which has three points, and then the it factor is the final decision. And before I counted this all up, I decided that the Lord Jones has the it factor. They were the earlier brand doing this stuff. They kind of made their name doing it. They got in Sephora very early before a lot of these things got popular. They also have several CBD options. They have oil that you can roll on. They have a lot of other options. 
Uh, Kanuka also has uh, several other products. They've got lip balm, like the lip balm, soaps, things like that. I just gave the It Factor the Lord Jones, though, because they're a little bit newer. They're a little bit out there when this trend started, so I thought they should get the point. And the fact that they're a little bit stronger is also a good thing. So then I gave got a toss-up because I got three and three. And uh, I hate when that happens. <laughs> so for me, I just I decided the tie tiebreaker factor is the price. So all things else considered really equal, if you can save $32 and get double, then you should pick up the Kanuka, especially if you're new to this type of thing. And So overall, I kind of decided that the Kanuka was the winner. But I don't know. I hate the I hate the tie, but maybe you guys can leave a comment. Is there anybody out there of you guys that's tried either of these or anybody that's tried both of these? Maybe your guys' input should be the tiebreaker. Let's do that. So leave a comment if you've tried either of these and uh, if they've worked for you or not. I'm still not sure if it's all a placebo effect or if it actually really does help. But to be honest, my hands were a little sore and now they're not as sore. So I don't know. It could be all in my head because you know what? A lot of things get in my head and then they stick there and it's just in my head. So... Anyway, so definitely leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys, and you guys can help break the tie, maybe. So, anyway, check out dobsbeauty.com. Check out my sheet mask challenge. I'm doing it every day now, and I'm kind of starting to enjoy it. So, check that out on nobsbeauty.com, and thank you guys so much.